Hello guys, welcome back to another Power Factory Excel tutorial. And this video is the third part of power quality and harmonic analysis. If you didn't watch, I will provide the links in the description. You can check them. In this tutorial, we will discuss about how to create mutual coupling between two transmission lines and observing the frequency change in the network system. As an example, let's create mutual coupling between these two transmission lines, which powered from PCC bus bar. Firstly, create a new variation and name it as new coupling line. Click yes. And create an expansion stage as coupling line. Click OK. Click yes. And deactivate the old expansion stage. Click on one of these lines and you will notice that the length of our line is 2 km. And with rated voltage of 20 kV. And you will also see all the characteristics here. And change cable to overheat line. And no need to change the other parameters. Click OK. Double click on the next line. The length is 3 km and change it to 2 km to make the same length as the other line. If you enter to the type of this line, all parameters are the same, so no need to change. Click OK. Select both of lines, right click from define, click on line couplings, and now that looks something like this will be created. And we need to select the name and type for them. We can define type either from global library or we can create a new type from here. From the special type, we either create a tower type or a tower geometry type. Tower type is the state when we didn't define types or didn't enter any other data for our lines. So by selecting tower type, we can define type and enter data for our lines as well. But when using power geometry, all types and data were already defined. So you only need to define a geometry type. Since types were defined for our lines, select tower geometry type. Click OK. A new dialog as tower geometry type will pop up. And name it as D or double underline circuit 20 kV. Make number of earth wires zero because we don't have any earth line and our number of line circuits are two. Here you will see the coordinate phase circuits of our two lines. That each of them has three phases. For example, XY is the first phase coordinate, X2Y is the second, and X3Y3 is the third characteristics coordinate of phase 1 and 2 of our transmission lines. Now let us enter the parameters for our coordinates. I have already provided a proper value for circuit 1 and 2. Let's copy and paste it. Click OK. Now a geometric type is created as you see here. Double click it and select line. As you see, cable 21 is selected as default here. Define type for our conductors. Double click here to define a new conductor type. Name it as Wolf underline ACSR. Enter 24 kV as nominal voltage and 0 0.573 kA as nominal current. 
For DC resistance at 20 centigrade, enter 0 0.183 ohm or kilometer. 7.46 millimeter for GMR. And for outer diameter, enter 18.13 millimeter. I selected the data according to data sheet. If you select a different geometric type, you can find different values. Click OK. Select the same type for the other line. Click OK. Now we created a line coupling for our network system. If you open data manager from wind farm grid, you will notice that a line coupling are created here. Now let us see that how this coupling affect on frequency of PCC busboard. In part two of this tutorial, we define a variable results for frequency sweep. So we do need to define a new one. Click on calculate impedance frequency and execute it. Then click on insert new graphic to create a virtual instrument panel. Create a bar diagram. Double click and select element as bus bar. Variable as MZ. Click OK. Enter to X axis. Change scale to page. Enter to used axis and put X axis variable on frequency. In advanced, change representation from bars to curves. Click OK. Scale it. Let's save this state from Zeit underline frequency in summary grid. It was saved in frequency sweep. Copy it and paste it here. and name it as frequency sweep with coupling. And now change the result file from frequency sweep to frequency sweep with coupling. Now deactivate our coupling and take the calculation of impedance frequency. Double click, right click, select append rows, double click, copy this and paste it. Name it as frequency sweep without coupling. Click OK. For the element, select path bar and select MZ for variable. Click OK. Now you can notice that the resonance frequency is changed. This graph is with coupling and this is without coupling. You can also create Graph for phaser. Change variable to phase. Click OK. You will notice a different resonance frequency for both state with coupling and without coupling. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.